What is going on guys, my name is Baron of Developer B, and welcome back to episode 22 of the Bucky Coding Tutorial Series. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to create scoreboards. And pretty much what a scoreboard is, is it is a little section of your screen to the right of your screen. And it can have multiple different features using scores. And yeah, so that's a very vague description. It's kind of like the past terms where I couldn't really describe what they are until we got in game. So it's going to be one of those and just follow along with me. And you should you should know what a scoreboard is if you played like Hypixel or Mindplex. They have scoreboards. It's just a little box on the right side of your screen with different values and different things you can display there. So let's go ahead and get into this. Pretty much we are going to be creating a mob kill tracker and this is going to track your kills with multiple mobs so we're just going to do the three basic mobs that you see at night or actually four basic mobs we're going to do the creeper skeleton zombie and spider so we're going to do those four and we are going to save each of the amount of kills you get of those mobs inside of the scoreboard so well, it's going to be in a config and we're going to display those kills on a scoreboard so there we go this is the main class we're just going to have the config i'm not going to make a custom one because it's kind of pointless and then we have the listener so let's go ahead and actually go inside of the listener and i actually have this basic thing set up like we have done in the past if you don't know what this is go check out my past tutorials and you will know what i'm doing and we're going to have a player join event. That is where we're going to start off this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually create some integers. Or actually, let's go ahead and create a method. And this method is going to be a public scoreboard board. And it's going to um, pretty much say actually get, get board and we are going to go in here and create our scoreboard so scoreboard board and this is the wrong type do not use this net minecraft server one it is not the right one it is the org.bucket.scoreboard so make sure to import that one and it should return as an interface so let's go ahead and equal this to bucket.get scoreboard manager dot get new scoreboard so we're going to get a new scoreboard and this is pretty much going to create a new scoreboard we're going to say board dot and then actually we're going to say objective and pretty much what an objective is is what you are going to be placing into the board and stuff so we're going to say board dot register a new objective and we are going to call it whatever we want so we're just going to call this kills and then right here it's not going to display at the top if you know what the display name is we're going to specifically set the display name in a second but we're just going to call it kills for the bucket back end to call it and then dummy and what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to manipulate the values of the scoreboard and not use another one there are multiple values that you can put here but i'll go over that maybe in a later episode we're just going to have dummy there for right now and down here we can go ahead and set the display name and the display slot and i will do that in a second so we're going to call this chat color dot red and chat color dot bold dot two string we're going to call this kills. So that is going to be displayed at the top of the scoreboard with the title. And then we are going to set the display slot. And this is going to be the display slot dot sidebar. So this is going to be on the side of the screen. And as you can see, there are multiple different things that you can put. You can put below the player name, the player list, which is whenever you hit tab, that's the player list, sidebar, etc. So there we go. We are done with the display slot and display name. Now we are going to get into the scores. So we are actually going to create some scores. And we're going to create four scores to be exact. So let's call this uh, Creeper. And these are going to be the scores of our different mobs. And score Zombie. I'm just making that. We're going to do something in a second. Score Skeleton. Oops, that's not how you spell Skeleton and score spider and these are going to be our four scores and we're just going to go ahead and set these up i'm going to set one up and then you guys can fill in the rest i'm just going to copy and paste it so pretty much all you say is o dot get score and a string and we are just going to say creeper we could say 
chat color dot green plus creeper and we can just follow this pattern right here and i'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this down here all right guys i'm back and i kind of did a little color coding system here so I added chat color dot green, which is the creeper, so that's kind of a lime green, which is kind of the color, and then dark green for zombie, because zombie's more of a darker green, and then I just didn't leave a chat color here, so it's going to be white, so that is the color of a skeleton, and then I did the dark red for the spider's eyes, so you guys can do it however you want. I didn't do black for spider, because it doesn't display very nice, so I did dark red, and that should look good, so you guys can do that however you want. I just personally did that for my own liking and now we are going to go down here and set up our things so actually we are going to go ahead and say player player up here we're going to take a player in there and we are actually going to set up these values so we're going to say creeper dot set score and then this is where we pull from our config.yml so we are going to say plugin oops plugin dot get config dot get int and then we can just say kills dot player player dot get unique id dot two string we're gonna do the unique id dot and then creeper and that is going to go ahead and display that score right there so it's gonna be a little red value next to the name and we can do this for all of these so i'm actually just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right guys, there we go. So I just went ahead and said kills.player.zombie, then kills.player.skeleton, kills.player.spider, just like that. And I set those up. So now we are done with this. Let's go ahead and say return board. And that is just going to go ahead and return this whole thing that we just made. And we have successfully set this up. So let's go ahead and actually just go ahead and separate those to make it look nice. So now it looks kind of more organized. We have our scores, set scores, then set for the objective and the variables. So let's go ahead and go back up here. And now we're going to go ahead and set this board up. So we are going to say player dot set scoreboard get board of player. And that is going to set their scoreboard once they join the game. So now it's going to set that up nice and good. And we should actually check and see if this player is registered in the config first. So we're going to say if plugin dot get config dot get configuration section of kills dot plus player dot get unique ID dot to string. We're going to check if that is null. If it is null, then we are going to set up our basic values. And I'm also going to skip over this really fast while I do this. I'll just show you what I'm going to do. It's going to be player dot two string dot creeper. We're going to set that to zero and I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I will be right back. So there we go. We have everything set up and now we can just go ahead and say plugin dot get config or <laughs> plugin dot save config. And there we go. So now we have our player value set up. And so there we go and we should have no problem getting them from here because they are going to be set up automatically no matter what the player does so now we have our scoreboard set up and the player can join and it will display these but it is not going to change whenever they kill yet because we have not set up that listener yet and we're going to do that right now so let's go ahead and go down here and we're actually going to create we're, let's actually make this a private we don't need this as a public because we're not going to use it in other classes. So we're just going to call this public void on kill. And this is going to be an entity death event. And I thought there was an entity death by entity, but there isn't. So we're just going to say entity death event. We are actually first going to get the player. So we're going to say player killer equals e.get entity get killer. And this is going to give us the player. So I have this method right here and it says it's always a player so there shouldn't be a problem with like an entity killing another entity it's always going to be a player so you don't have to cast or anything with that and we are going to go down here and we're going to check different values of what the entity is to see what it is so we can say if e.get entity instance of creeper let's say we could do that 
and it will check if the entity is a creeper. So if it is a creeper, then we are going to go ahead and say plugin.getconfig.set kills dot and then killer dot get unique ID dot to string dot creeper and we're gonna set that to this value right here we're gonna get it so we're gonna say plugin dot get config dot get int of this and that's not player that is actually killer and we're gonna set it that plus one and there we go and we can just do this with all of the other mobs so it's pretty much actually the same so we can say e.get entity instance of zombie and you can do that and then else if e.get entity instance of skeleton or else if e.get entity instance of spider so you can pretty much do this with all of the mobs and it will be exactly the same. So now let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. So I will be right back. All right guys, so I'm done with this and actually I'm going to do something a little bit different. So we're actually going to create some integers up here and we're gonna say zombie or actually creeper kills first. Uh, int zombie kills int skeleton kills and int spider kills and we're gonna do this because we actually have to set the scores of this board to the updated versions so actually I'm going to set these to this value right here and then we can do that so let's go ahead and just copy and paste these and set them to their assigned values and I'll do that really fast, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I set up these variables with the things that we put over here, and now we can actually go over here and delete these. And we can say creeper kills plus plus, and what that's gonna do is it is actually, what does it say? Oh, it's never used. Well, it is actually going to increase the value of this by one, and it's going to set it to this. So it's going to set this value plus one so it's pretty much the same thing except we're changing the variable of the variable too so let's go ahead and do this for all of these so zombie kills plus plus uh, skeleton kills plus plus and spider kills plus plus so there we go so now we can go ahead and go down here and say plugin dot get or save config and now we are actually going to get the board of the player or the killer and we're going to set these scores up so we're going to set score oops get board dot get objective display slot dot sidebar and then we are going to get score of whatever and then set the score like so so we're actually going to go ahead and make this a variable because it is nice and easy. So we're just gonna go ahead and say objective O and it'll just make it that much easier to go ahead and type this stuff. And then we can go ahead and run the thing. So we're gonna say o.getscore and this is going to be the chat color dot green plus creeper score. And you have to type this exactly how it is or else it will not find it and then you're going to set the score to the updated creeper kills. And you just do that for all of them and I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be right back. All right guys, so I copy and pasted these and I set the chat colors just like they were down here. Make sure you do that or else it will not work as I said before. So there are actually a few other things I wanna point out. I didn't have dots over here and I just spotted them and I put them in there. Make sure you have these dots or else it will mess up and just make sure you have them. As you can see, I have all of the dots right here. It separates the sections and makes them good. So make sure you have those dots. And also we are going to change this right here. So I didn't recognize this before, but I just realized it, that if you have these plus pluses after the 
thing, then it after the variable, it won't update it in this method. It'll update it after the method is run. So pretty much it is going to be the same value that it was and nothing's gonna change. But if you put it in the front, then it will actually update it while it's running this method. So that is what we want. Make sure you move these to the front and then just delete them right here. And there we go. We are good to go. And just go down here for the last thing that we're gonna do. Just say killer dot set scoreboard to o dot get scoreboard and that is gonna update the scoreboard for us. So we are actually done with this. Let's go ahead and build our plugin. There we go. Let's go in game and reload and we're actually gonna have to leave and rejoin. So let's go ahead and try that. As you can see, whenever we join the server, we are going to have a scoreboard to the right side of our screen, as you can see right there. And that scoreboard is going to track our kills. So let's go ahead and get a diamond sword and actually set the time to night to try this out. So slash time set 20,000 should be nighttime. And there should be mobs spawning. Over here, there's a zombie. That's our perfect first victim. So let's run over here, hit him as uh, however many times and as you can see whenever I hit him right now boom our kills updated and it worked so let's do the same for skeleton as you can see skeleton updated too and let's try and find every mob so here's a creeper let's kill that too and let's find a spider and kill it where is a spider at there's one let's kill him too and as you can see, we each have a kill for each mob and it ended up working out. So let's go and check the config.yml. And there we go, it successfully restored our config and stuff. And as you can see, the higher the value, it's gonna be on top. So that's pretty cool too. And as you can see, there's our display name, kills. So thank you guys for watching. That was a pretty, useful tutorial on how to create scoreboards it's actually really useful for mini games and stuff and whenever we create a bigger project in the future we're actually going to be using a scoreboard for a mini game or something so i don't know what that project's going to be but it's going to be in the very distant future it's not going to be soon or anything but it's going to happen so just be tuned for that so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in episode 23